Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and it is February 18th. This is the week where we are actually now talking about the donations of Fractaline to the tower. But to do it the most efficient way possible, I want to cover a couple things with you guys. Explain the math of what we're looking at, and also spend a little time with Spider. As you guys can see, Saladin is up there with his cauldron. Iron Banner is here. Uh, so if you guys do want to spend some time in there to work on a couple bounties, you can. I think most of us will be working on our Fractaline and our weapon bounties that we've got. Also, when you log in there as a cinematic, I'm going to stick it at the end, just so you guys can see that with a couple second spoiler warning. So if you do want to see with your own eyes on your own screen and in your own game, you can do that without me spoiling it for you. But if you guys want to watch it and say you're at work, it's just a little teaser, I think, of what is to come next season. We don't know all the details, but it's teasing a bit into the future. So you guys can enjoy that at the end, but for now, let's get into this. Alright, so when you get into the Tower Obelisk, you'll see that you can generate your Polaris Fractaline. If you are looking to do your donations on that day that you see that, you can pick it up. If you're looking to donate next week and make this as absolutely efficient as possible, you could wait until next week because technically you can still get more. But if you want to get into donating, you could pick it up and get that stuff going. Right now, I'm going to skip this and we'll go more into the math. The time you donate is really up to you. So previously, as I stated, when you donate 400 Fractaline, you're going to finish any of the time loss weapon bounties that you have in your inventory. Now, the time loss limit, like the number of bounties that you can hold, is four. Now, I don't know if it's a joke because literally Perfect Paradox is Paradox in the name, but you seem to be able to hold five or six or seven, depending on when you click on this thing in order. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. As you pick up the Perfect Paradox, it does this little glitch where it like freaks out. Normally, I can only hold four. Oh, I can buy another one. And I can buy another one. Mine usually seems to stop at about six. Everything else is likely going to be four. But either way, what you guys will notice, when I turn in my Fractaline, when I turn in 400 of them, I'm going to finish the donation. I'm going to finish these four bounties. So if I check, I've turned in two. Every one of these is at 50%. Maybe 52 due to rounding or benefits of donating more. But really, you're getting basically 25% per each one. I'll come back in here and I will donate just a smidge more. So two more donations and I'm going to finish every weapon bounty. Cool. So I've got a whole bunch of weapons to turn in. I just got six perfect paradoxes. I also probably got some experience from all those bounties. I had to top it off. My inventory is full, so I've got a whole bunch of perfect paradox to see if I got a good roll. Demolitionist and Swatch Blocker, Demolitionist and Trench Barrel with Tactical Mag, Barrel Trout. You're going to be getting some rolls here. Firmly Planted and Trench Barrel with a 1-2 Punch. I haven't had quite the desired one yet that I want because there's a lot of rolls out there. So you're going to be having quite a few options to look through. But as you guys can see, that's a lot of bounties. So that's why if you are donating your Fractaline, you are going to want to do your bounties because you're going to be able to do them that quickly. Now, the other thing about bounties that you're going to notice is the cost of the bounties themselves. Each bounty costs 3,000 Glimmer. Now, I'm going to throw some math at you guys. If you don't care about the math, you can skip ahead to where I'm going to get to kind of coming back here. But what I'm going to talk about is basically what it costs to do these weapon frames and how much Glamour you're potentially going to need. I'm going to use my Resonance Power as an example. I have 50,000 Resonance Power. Means I'm going to pick up 50,000 Fractaline when I pick it up here at the tower. 50,000 Fractaline is going to allow me to turn in 400 Fractaline 125 times. You're like, that's a lot. That means also I'm going to be able to finish any weapon bounty that I have in my inventory 125 times. So at a minimum, 125 times 4 is 500 weapon bounties. Now that's actually not a bad thing. Because as I turn those in, most of the rolls I'm not going to use. I'm going to break each weapon down. I'm going to get four shards for the thing. And I'm going to boost my shards up. But also you'll notice 500 bounties, 3,000 Glimmer Bounty. It's going to cost me 1.5 million Glimmer to do all of these. And that is just this week. I'm going to be able to do that in the next two weeks. If you invest this week, it's probably going to be even more next week. But you guys get the idea with some round numbers. We're talking about mostly a crap ton of glimmer that you're going to need. Now, each bounty does cost 10 Fractaline, so okay, fine. I'll have 
46,000 by weird math and other such things, but, you know, say 45,000 fractaline worth of bounties to do. But we're just going to use 50,000 because it's an easy number to work with. 1.5 million glimmer means I'm going to need to fill my glimmer to its capacity six times. Now, unless you just live in this game, have your Rainmaker perk on all the time, and you're just killing a bunch of enemies, it's going to take a while to get 1.5 million glimmer. Just takes time. Easiest place to do that is at Spider. So let's go to him and talk about the currency exchange that is available now. And also one that would be more efficient depends on if you want to wait for it. So let's head to Spider. So when you visit Tower, you know he has his material exchange. Now what you're hoping for is that he's selling glimmer for a planetary material. Today he's selling it for shards, which is not a bad thing. If you have a decent amount of shards, you can buy the glimmer you need, and then when you break down your weapon frames, you can have more shards than you spent, and technically you'll have a net gain. It's not a bad thing. But, if you're trying to be as efficient as possible, or you're trying to stockpile more legendary shards if yours are a little bit low, what you can do, and basically what we're all going to be hoping for, is a day where Spider sells one of these planetary materials for legendary shards, and then he also has that same planetary material as the cost for glimmer when he does that it's 20 of that planetary material for the glimmer and when it's the planetary material is available sh for shards it's one shard for five so it takes four shards to get 20 materials and the 20 materials get you the 20,000 glimmer so in essence it's four shards for 10,000 glimmer instead of the 10 shards as he's selling it today so going through the planetary material as kind of an intermediary currency, you're going to be 60% more efficient on shards. What does that mean for you? If you're somebody like me, I have so many shards, it's probably not going to matter. But say this week, I have 50,000 fractaline and I turn in trying to do all my bounties and everything and I need 1.5 million glimmer to do it. If I did that this week, or today actually, if I did that specifically today, uh, I would need to re refill my Glimmer six times, so that would cost me a fair amount of shards. But all the weapon frames that I get, uh, the weapons that I get, I'm going to break down nearly all of them, because most are not going to be the role I'm looking for. And I'm going to net about 80 more shards per. The only difference is, is if I use have a day when the Glimmer exchange is optimal, let's so say he's selling simulation seeds for shards, and Glimmer for Simulation Seeds. I can sit here and do this rotation of Seeds, Glimmer, Seeds, Glimmer, over and over and over. I can do it that way. Instead of netting 80 shards, positive, I'm going to net 230 shards, positive, roughly. I'm using round numbers. So by the time everything is all said and done, I'll use the exact numbers now. This week, if I turned it in today and did the Glimmer Exchange for shards, I would net... 492 extra shards than I have right now by the time I broke down all the materials or all the weapons and everything I would have almost 500 more new shards that's not bad I have plenty that's totally fine if you're in a good space that's not a bad way to go and honestly it's a quicker exchange because you don't have to click on two things so if you're good on shards go ahead and do that if you're trying to stock low stockpile a lot of shards what you're going to need to look for is a day sometime either this week, or if you don't see one this week, you can invest and still net the same next week, where he is selling the currency and glimmer for the same thing, and then your shards are going to net you even more. So if I went through all of my donations and breaking down my weapons and got my 1.5 million glimmer and spin it all, my shards eventually, by the time I got done breaking down all those weapons, I would have almost 1,400 new shards. So you're going from 500 to 1400 and this is one week so if i do it this week next week and the final week that's going to be a total of about 1500 shards versus about 4200 shards there's a huge difference there now do i need 8000 legendary shards no i'm going to be honest i don't but if you're trying to be as efficient as possible if your shards are low and you've built up a decent amount of resonance power you can use this to definitely bump up your legendary shards so you have them for anything like this in the future. It's really up to you on how you want to use the glimmer, your shards, the planetary materials, and how you want to spend your time doing that. Either way, you're probably going to need to burn through a, you know, a season of something on Netflix as you sit here and click on whatever you're doing. But I just wanted to give you guys the options so you understand the math.
doing the legendary shards straight to glimmer is 60% less efficient than using a planetary material as that intermediary purchase because it's that much cheaper. So it's up to you and how many shards you guys want to net. Either way, you're going to be getting enough bounties and breaking nearly all of those down for legendary shards that you should still always be gaining shards during this process. It's up to you in how much you gain. That's your call, but let's head back to the tower. All right, so we we're back in the tower, but this is that's my whole point is it's your choice in what you want to do. You're going to be going through a crap load of bounties, and it's really just depending on if you want to do it today. Say maybe this is your day off and this is when you're going to dump all your time into Destiny. Well, you know, you're still going to gain shards by doing it. But if you want to wait till later, you're going to get a lot more shards in the end. It's just going to take you a little bit longer. One way or the other, you're going to be seeing so many weapons um, that make sure you are looking for those optimal rolls out there. There's quite a few good ones for just about everything through here. But as you go through, make sure you kind of have an idea what you're looking for. Have something up on your screen. So if, say, I'm working on my Jack King Queen and I'm picking up a bunch of bounties for it, I know quickly so I can scan which ones I want and then delete the rest of them because you're going to be going through a lot of them quickly. Make sure you know what you're looking for and that's going to help you guys out. Other than that, this week we have Iron Banner. So you know Salon is up there by his giant cauldron. And we have three weeks left in the season because the next season starts on March 10th. Or if you guys really want to see if I'm making it up, you can see the season ends in 20 days and 21 hours. So three weeks exactly. So what would I do in this time? Well, I'm almost done with most everything I'm working on. I'm almost done with the strikes. I just need to run some strikes and get some solar weapon kills. That I'm probably going to finish up. I finished up Python. I finished up my ritual weapons. My collections are almost done because you do need the collection if you're trying to go for the savior title. I need to run one legendary Enotom um, sundial, which I'm probably going to try and get a group together for that today. So when I finish strikes and my legendary sundial... The only thing I'm literally going to be waiting on is everyone to finish this thing. So whenever the donations are done. So there are about three weeks left in the season. And what I would like to do is actually take this time to maybe take a little break from Destiny. Still cover anything major that does happen. But mostly I would like to kind of play something else and just kind of see what you guys enjoy, think of. So these are a couple options that I'm actually working on. Um, Neo 2, which is a Souls-like game. Uh, kind of samurai warrior type. I played the first one some on PlayStation. I didn't finish it and I've got it on PC So I debated on playing that one because the sequel comes out in March, which is fairly soon uh, I've thought about playing Final Fantasy 7 because I've never played the damn thing uh, I played Chrono Trigger and that was kind of my favorite RPG ever But the remake is coming out in the fall So that one's actually quite tempting or actually I don't think that's one of the ones that's in the fall delayed But it's coming out sometime soon So that's an option to kind of at least play maybe through Midgard See what that's all about and kind of get ready for what's going to happen in the remake um, Playing through Chrono Trigger I haven't played that since and I've actually got that on Steam Would like to play through that Breath of the Wild, I got into that, but then I fell off due to this game. Usually, as always, I fall off most games due to Destiny. And there's a couple other options I've got in Steam. So if you guys would like to see any of those games I listed or something else you think would be cool to watch me play, let me know down in the comments below. And this is kind of a nice time where there's really not much that's probably going to happen over these last three weeks. If you checked all the boxes for the season, we're mostly just kind of waiting for this thing to finish up. There's probably going to be a quest that goes into next season, but I don't think there's going to be like a brand new activity or anything until we get to next season. So... Thank you guys. I hope the video was helpful for you guys. It's again, main thing is it's really up to you and what you do in your investing or donating or buy it for shards or buy it for planetary materials. That's up to you guys and how much you want to make just profit on shards as well. But I hope you get your god rolls. Enjoy these next three weeks. Let me know in the comments below what you might like to see me play. If you did enjoy the video, drop a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I will probably be putting gameplay, more clips, not full on, just like hour long chunks like I've done before, but probably edited clips of whatever game I do play. So look for those and subscribe so you don't miss them. But you guys can also find me on Twitch and Twitter. I'll probably be streaming as I play whatever other game that is going to be. And then we've got next season coming up in about three weeks. So you know there's going to be a lot to cover then. So don't miss out on that. So follow and subscribe for that as well. Thank you guys very much. I'm going to take that clip that happens when you log in, stick it right here after this one. So if you want to avoid that, just see it with your own eyes fresh on your screen or monitor. You can end the video now. Otherwise, you guys can check out the end of this thing right here. So have a great one. I'll see you all soon. Enjoy. Good luck getting your titles, completions, weapons, god rolls, and all that stuff. And I will see you soon. It's 
been a while, old man. The tower looks at you and sees a god. But I see a thug. A murderer. Betrayer. You know why I left the Infinite Forest, what I saw. A line has been drawn in this system. Light on one side, dark on the other. Where do you stand?